Beautiful, Moolah Chag. Hey, this is Jared from Head PE, and you're watching Moolah Chag. It's really the only TV show you'll ever need. What was the last instrument you bought? Oh, uh, the last instrument I bought was probably either be a, probably a melodica, you know? I think so. Um, I'm trying to think of my studio, what's in there. Um, I think a melodica for sure, yeah. Is it often that you see an instrument and you th and you figure, hey, that that would be a cool sound on the next <laughs> record or something? Um, yeah, you know, my son just got uh, uh, a little Mayan drum because one of our friends went to the pyramids in uh, Mexico and brought him a drum. So I was like, I think that would get, go good on a record. Also, like, then my son has like this little uh, uh, music box in his crib, and I thought. I could record that and detune it and make it sound evil and put it on the record, so I'll probably do that. You often refer to your fans as the youth of the planet. Yeah! <laughs> Is there any age limit in enjoying Head P music? No, definitely not at all. But you know, what's happened is um, since the band kind of reformed in 2003, we've just had this kind of... Uh, uh, We rely on the more the the youth to uh, that have been buying all our independent albums and stuff because old people more remember the old corporate music and so now that we're an indie band we find that mostly our most of our crowds are younger you know so but there is no so no nah, anybody even sixty year old everyone's could. invited <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the secret histories of the planet. Well, you know, because uh, the most people only recognize the history that starts with, with like Greek civilization, but obviously you, we're finding out now that you had all these really advanced civilizations like the Mayans and uh, Atlantis and whatever. So um, I think the secret history is the fact that there's been all these like intelligence from other uh, planets and whatever coming down, uh, interacting with, um, with uh, the people of this planet from way before the Greek times and whatever, you know. Um, so people try to act like everything that happens on Earth is just like in this like, you know, uh, just on Earth, like there's no outside influences from off-world entities. So that's what it really is, talking about like the fact that we have the as human beings interacted with off-worlders, you know, and that they've had, a, um, they've, they've done things, or, you know, um, with our civilizations and our DNA and stuff. That's the secret history, you know. It, you know, like even uh, there's um, people who have worked in the governments, U.S. governments, uh, a lot of international governments who have like worked with alien technology who are now coming out and talking about it like uh there's this one thing in the states i was watching the disclosure project where you have like um these uh u.s officials talking about how they categorize 50 different uh alien species and some of them look exactly like us so you know those are very interesting things to discuss you know <laughs> What's going to happen in 2012? Anything well, I don't special? Think, I don't think 2012 is going to be like a moment. I think it's like more of a progression where we're already progressing through it. It's more of like a sign that says, hey, you're entering a new age, you know. Um, You know, we're ending the age of Pisces, going into the age of Aquarius, and supposedly as, you know, we're going to... Uh, enter a, a more co a cooperative uh, era of humanity where there'll be more peace and less war and less burning oil and more free energy and perhaps, you know, our introduction into the, uh, the galactic neighborhood, you know, but um, I think the last 2,000 years where the world's been out of balance with a lot of war, you know, a lot of uh, male energy we're going to see more of a balancing coming out and um i think you can already see it but there will still be rock and roll oh of course <laughs> that's what's going to bring us through <laughs>
<laughs> That's what's taking us through, man. <laughs> That's a good question. In what way has uh, your writing process changed over the years? Well, you know, when the band first started, it was just kind of like party music. The lyrics were very, like, uh, superficial music. Once in a while, I'd talk about an alien or this and that, but mostly it was just about partying. And then, you know, like, uh, like I said, like in around 2004, I started studying all this, like, secret power structures and quote-unquote conspiracy theories after 9-11 and you know um so that's pretty much changed my whole life it, you know because when you really start to study these things it, it changes the way you look at life and it changes the water you drink and the things you eat and you know it's just a, a life change so you know that has now uh is what my music is all about you know this type of secret knowledge about you know mass the ma the mass media and uh shitty food and uh you know consumerism and all of that so that's now what goes into the the lyrical content of the music you know i'm talking about important things that and i find that the youth and people in general of, of all ages are, are are thinking about the same things you know as far as the music you know back in the 90s it was more like experimental whatever now since the new band it's more like hardcore punk and thrash heavy metal it has a more of a focus and it's heavier and when it gets heavy it gets really heavy and when it and when it does when we do soul then it's really soulful you know so i think it's more focused whatever style we choose you know like if we're gonna do ska we make sure it sounds like authentic ska dub style but if we're gonna do hardcore punk rock we make sure it's really hardcore you know <laughs> that's good um well since you're a father yourself now um did that uh, kind of give you a different focus on, on I think things? so because you know um, you start to realize you know hey like I'm, if you really love your children you look out into the world you're like you know it's I don't just love my children but you know Iraqis love their children and all the people of the world lo have a love for their children it's kind of to me made me feel more of a, a, a family with with people that I don't know you know because Everybody wants to have security and food on the table and pay their rent and take care of their families, you know. So um, I think that, you know, the head PE now, the music is, uh, it's, I don't want to say it's important, but it says important things and uh, helps people think about deeper things in a society where a lot of times people are just thinking about a lot of bullshit about, you know, a new pair of sunglasses or, you know, this and that piece of shit that, or junk that, excuse me, that you're going to buy at the mall or whatever. You know, I think people have to get back to the deeper things in life, you know, what's really important about life, you know, which is love and, and, and being good to your neighbor and trying to make sure the world is more peaceful and all sorts of stuff, right? <laughs> Beautiful, Mula Chag. Hey, this is Jared from Head PE and you're watching Mula Chag. It's really the only TV show you'll ever need. Mula Chag!